So everybody knows that Shopify is really great for doing your online e-commerce when you're selling from business to client or business to customer. What I'm going to show you is if when you want to use Shopify in order to use it in a business to business situation. For example, I'm going to show you how it works really, really well and powerfully with a wholesale opportunity. With my inner fire, they already had a Shopify store and they wanted to add a wholesale component to that store. And what we were able to do was use a second Shopify store in order to set that up for them. So when you're on their regular shop, just to compare, so if we're, say, a regular shopper and we wanted to buy some leggings, we would pick the leggings that we wanted, then we would read through the descriptions, and then we would add them to the cart, and then we would get to the checkout. We could change our quantities. We could see what we were purchasing and check out in a normal fashion. That works very well for buying single products. However, when you're buying multiple products, and if you're doing a group buy, it's not the best system to use um, because it's very cumbersome and it's hard to make sure that you've got your orders correct. So we did a little bit of a different approach to how to do it for a wholesale side of things. So um, so two things. One, the first thing we did is we wanted to make sure the wholesale side was um, password protected. And th there's a lot of reasons for doing this. Uh, we wanted to be able to approve accounts for people to get there because they have to go through a certain um, credit check first. Uh, they have to be authorized dealers. You know, there's a lot of extra stuff that happens when you're dealing with just wholesale clients. So when you go to the uh, wholesale Interfire account, it will take you to a login where the customer would then ever be able to log in and get to their site. Once they've logged in, they come to a nicely designed site, just like you would normally have. Um, if we were to go to uh, the homepage, it would come up wholesale site, very similar to their other site. You can look up uh, all different information. They have their policies, they have their FAQs, they have their lookbook, they have their catalogs. A lot of this stuff is new lines that are coming out that are not available to the public, so it's a different inventory. When you go and actually select a t-shirt, uh, which I have a sample here, um, you can see that the layout is slightly different than it was on their online store. And the reason we built it this way was because we were finding it was very cumbersome to be adding one product to each cart uh, by just copying over your existing store. So there's a lot of tweaks that need to happen when you're opening up a second wholesale store. So the first thing with um, these guys is that you're, allowed, you're able to pick the graphics. So I'm going to pick uh, Believe in Yourself and I'm going to pick with a gray tank top and we come down here and we get this great chart that tells us which products are in stock, which ones were out of stock and which ones we're able to order. So theoretically I'm, I can order 15 smalls, I can order four mediums and I can order two larges and say I wanted also to get the tri coffee ones I could order 20 here as well, uh, maybe 10 here, maybe they're a little bit more popular and it will add them up on the right hand side. Now this is just sample pricing that I've put in here for the purpose of this video, um, but you can see that each item gets added together and it gives you a line item so you know how much each one of them is going to cost. So if you've only got a specific budget, say you wanted to um, put a couple numbers in here and you knew that you only have hundred and seventy dollars to spend on these on these particular items, it'll allow you to add it all up and then when you're finished you can hit the add to cart icon it will process everything and it will add it to the cart and it will add all your items to the cart. So you can see your total number of items that are going to be checked out is 156. Now that only took me a couple seconds to put into the system, but if I was to do that one by one, it would be a very cumbersome style of adding stuff over. So if I go over to the cart, I can then see a preview of everything that I'm going to order. I can see the colors of my shirts. I can click on and see the graphic that I want to be able to, um, that's going to be used be printed on the shirt. I can update my quantities and then I can also check my additional options. Um, do you need your items priced and uh, do you, is back ordering okay or substitutions okay? Might be okay for you. So I can then go to my checkout and I can proceed through my checkout like I normally would. The cool thing about when you do the checkout is you're able to go to checkout and you we have this you have to do a $300 minimum order so that you're not dealing with these small orders. Obviously, if you're a wholesale person, then you know you have a minimum order that you need to make, and you can make these type of checks. It's a very user-friendly interface for, for, for buyers. So the buyers can sit down, they can really visually see what you're looking at. They're not looking through a catalog or filling out an Excel spreadsheet. Everything is uh, accurately 
itemize and you can see the graphics that things are going on and it's uh, it works out works out very very well um, so let's go and I'm gonna update some of these here to a little bit more so I'm gonna say I'm gonna get 300 of them refresh it there and now I'm above my minimum order so now I can check out and I can choose my um, payment method. So I can either go by credit card, pay for it right now, I can go by PayPal, or I could go by bank deposit. The There are multiple payment options that you can set up, especially when using a wholesale site. Um, the great thing about it is you can have, because it's a password protected, you can have them put the order in, you can do net 30 or you can do net 60, and then that can be imported directly into the accounting system that you're using. Uh, because it's Shopify, it has an API in it where we can actually connect it with your accounting system so it can go straight into it if it, if it accepts external inputs. Or you can change, or you can run your business where they have to pay for the whole thing up front based on credit cards. So this is a re that's really great to do if you're doing closeout stuff, or you're doing sample sales, or you're doing that sort of thing where you're trying to relieve some of the other products. So that is an overview of what we can do with a wholesale environment uh, through Shopify. It's a great place to expand your business and a really, really nice, easy user interface to get away from those Excel spreadsheets and those fax forms we're so used to.